In this video, we will practice deciding whether a rational function has a slant asymptote, a horizontal asymptote, or neither. If it's a slant asymptote, we'll find it. This is AP Precalculus Topic 1.11. If you appreciate this content, please show it by hitting the like button. Determine if the following rational functions have a horizontal asymptote, a slant asymptote, or neither. Here are some things we have learned in previous lessons. Number one, if the degree of the denominator is greater, there is a horizontal asymptote, and it is y equals zero. If the degree of the numerator and denominator are equal, there is a horizontal asymptote, and it is y equals the ratio of the leading coefficients. If the degree of the numerator is greater, there is no horizontal asymptote, however, if the degree of the numerator is exactly one more than the denominator, there is a slant asymptote. Number one, the numerator has degree two, the denominator has degree two, so there is a horizontal asymptote, and it is the ratio of the leading coefficients. Number two, the numerator has degree two, the denominator has degree one, since the degree of the numerator is exactly one more than the denominator, there is a slant asymptote. We'd have to do long division to figure out what it is, and we will practice that later in the video. Number three, the numerator has degree three, the denominator has degree one. Since the numerator degree is greater, there is no horizontal asymptote. Since it's not exactly one more, there's not a slant asymptote either. So this is a neither. Number four, the numerator degree wins by exactly one, four versus three. So there is a slant asymptote. Number five, the numerator has degree two, the denominator has degree three. Since the denominator has the greater degree, there is a horizontal asymptote, and it is y equals zero. For number six, we need to figure out what the leading terms are. So, ignoring the negative two and the plus two, we have x squared times three x squared. So that's three x to the fourth power. That will be the leading term of the numerator. In the denominator, the plus one and the minus five will not matter. So we are left with x times x times x, which is x to the third power. That's the leading term of the denominator. Since the numerator degree is exactly one more than the denominator, there is a slant asymptote. For each rational function below, use long division to find the equation of the slant asymptote. Notice that in each case, the degree of the numerator beats the degree of the denominator by exactly one. Set up your long division like this. Begin by dividing the leading term of the numerator by the leading term of the denominator. x squared divided by x is x. Line that up. Now multiply. Take the x and multiply times x minus one. x times x is x squared. x times negative one is negative x. Then subtract. These cancel out. Negative 6x minus negative x is really negative 6x plus x, so that's negative 5x. And bring down the plus 7 and start over. Divide negative 5x by x and you get negative 5. Line that up. Now multiply. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5. Now subtract. Actually, notice that we already have the answer. As soon as we got to this constant, we had the slant asymptote, which is y equals x minus 5. So this is the answer to number 7. I am going to finish the long division just because it's good practice. When you subtract, these will cancel, and seven minus five leaves a remainder of two. 
Number 8. 2x squared divided by x is 2x. Now multiply 2x times x plus 3. 2x times x is 2x squared. And 2x times 3 is 6x. Subtract. These cancel. Negative x minus 6x is negative 7x. And bring down the 4. Now divide negative 7x by x. And that leaves negative 7. Right there, this is the answer to number 8. The slant asymptote is y equals 2x minus 7 but I'm going to finish the long division. Take your negative 7 and multiply it times x plus 3. Negative 7 times x is negative 7x. Negative 7 times 3 is negative 21. Then you would subtract. These cancel. And then 4 minus negative 21 is like 4 plus 21, which is 25. And that would be the remainder. Number 9, x to the third power divided by x squared is x, which I'm going to put way over here, lining it up. Now I multiply x times this trinomial. x times x squared is x to the third power. x times negative 2x is negative 2x squared. And x times 5 is 5x. And then I am going to subtract this. These cancel out. Negative 4x squared minus negative 2x squared is like negative 4x squared plus 2x squared, which is negative 2x squared. 3x minus 5x is negative 2x. And then bring down your minus 1. Start over with the division process. Negative 2x squared divided by x squared is negative 2. And right there, kabam! This is the answer to number 9, or it leads directly to the answer to number 9, which is a slant asymptote of y equals x minus 2. But let's finish the long division just for practice. You take that negative 2 and you multiply. Negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times negative 2x is positive 4x. And negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. And then you would subtract. These cancel. Negative 2x minus 4x is negative 6x. And negative 1 minus negative 10, that's like negative 1 plus 10. So that's positive 9. For number 10, notice that the numerator is missing the x term. So I'm going to put in a placeholder term of 0x. Now let's divide 2x to the third power by x squared. That's going to leave 2x, which I'm going to put right here over my placeholder. Now take the 2x and multiply. 2x times x squared is 2x to the third power. 2x times x is 2x squared. And 2x times 1 is 2x. So you can see why it was useful to put the placeholder so these would line up. Now we subtract. These cancel out. Negative x squared minus 2x squared is negative 3x squared. 0x minus 2x is negative 2x. And we bring down the 1. We sort of start over here with the division. What is negative 3x squared divided by x squared? Well, that leaves negative 3. And as soon as you write that constant, 
you know the slant asymptote. For k of x, the slant asymptote is y equals 2x minus 3. But let's finish off the long division just for good practice. Take that negative 3 and now multiply. Negative 3 times x squared is negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Then you would subtract. These will cancel. Negative 2x minus negative 3x. That's like negative 2x plus 3x, which is simply x. 1 minus negative 3. That's like 1 plus 3, so that's 4. And that's the remainder. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. But also, if you found this video helpful, there's a lot more where that came from. You can click the upper link, which will take you to the whole unit playlist, or you can click the lower link, which will take you to the next video in the playlist. See you there.